Alec Pierce, Tech Tips. I'm back. Yes, indeed, we have not uh, done very many uh, Tech Tips for a little while. Now, they're still coming out regular. You guys still get to see them, but Kevin and I have not filmed very many for a little while, so this is all new. And uh, we are in the middle of the COVID crisis. Da, da, da. And anyway, uh, I don't have my mask on because Kevin, I make sure he is 60 feet away. No, not six. 60. <laughs> We came into this dive store here to run these tech tips. We have not shot here before, even though this is a large dive store, one of the largest in Canada. We're here in Toronto, Ontario, and uh, this particular dive store is the Aquarius Scuba Diving Center. Very, very well known. Been in business for a long time, I don't know, probably 20, 30 years. And they do an excellent job. Everything, full service. Training, service, or sales, everything. Uh, they, they, they cover recreational diving, of course, and tech diving as well. They have several tech divers and tech diver tech instructors here. So they cover the whole gamut. Just an excellent place. If you're somewhere in uh, near Toronto, Ontario, Toronto, or Toronto, as you guys say down south, um, uh, then, then do stop in to the Aquarius Dive Center. Tell them that you know Alec Pierce. Lie a little bit. Tell them you know Alec Pierce from Scuba Tech Tips. And uh, they won't charge you much more than the average customer no <laughs> so the question today is very simply 300 or 2000 and what should you buy well of course it's not a fair question because you have no idea what the difference is between the two that's why i'm here so we're going to talk very briefly about this computer top quality brand name 300 or less computer and there's more than a few around this is one brand name but there are several computers that you can buy and they're all very very similar some bigger some smaller some a little easier to use some a little harder they all do exactly the same thing you can buy there's several brands available so what do they do well they do what a dive computer is supposed to do it goes on your wrist some people clip them to uh, some people clip them to a console you know you, a lot of divers still carry uh, a depth gauge and 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 a um, SPG and a compass and all that stuff on a console. You can clip it to that as well. Now, the, th the thing is that wherever you carry it, however you carry it, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, they, they provide the basic information that you need. So, you put this on. <clears throat> Say, everybody, okay, you're all ready, let's go. Do the okay sale. You jump in the water and you start to descend. What happens? The computer keeps track instantly of your depth. One, two, three, four, five feet, whatever it happens to be as you descend. All the time that you're underwater, whatever you're doing, and recreational divers, unlike commercial divers, recreational divers tend to dive like this. Uh, oh, what's that over there? Whoops, oh, I dropped my knife. Whoa, I got it. Okay, let's go up and look at the, that's all, pictures. So they're up and down all the time. This computer can't be fooled. Can't be fooled. If you have a, a depth gauge, and you look at your depth gauge, that tells you the depth that you're at, right at that moment. It does not tell you the depth that you were five minutes before. You would have to watch your depth gauge continuously to know all the different depths that a recreational diver goes to. And then, of course, you forget there's no history with an SPG. With a computer, it tells you exactly where you are and exactly where you've been. It knows exactly how deep you've been at all times through the dive. So, depth gauge. Secondly, it also tracks your time. So the minute you jump on the water and start to descend, the timer starts and it tracks your exact time, the whole time. And then, of course, it uses that information to calculate your no decompression limits, your no decompression time. It calculates how long you have to wait until your next dive. And when you do your next dive, it automatically adds into the second dive the residual nitrogen from the first dive. It does all that automatically. Nothing. Don't do anything. You don't have to turn it on. Most of these now, you can. You can't. I think it's these two, Kevin or these two, anyway, whatever two it is, it turns, it turns this on. But most of these now are moisture activated. So as soon as you jump in the water, it starts. Huh. Not like you're watching depth gauge, you have, oh. So just that simple. That's what a $300 basic, we'll call this a basic dive computer does. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It calculates your depth, your time, and saves you from decompression problems. It does that for as many dives as you do in a single day, and, and uh, it's over okay so that's where you start and that would be enough for most dives uh, divers uh, that really is enough if you buy anything more than this that's nice you have a car yes you have leather seats yes you paid extra for them that's up to you the people that have cloth seats probably get to their destination around the same time now, you see my point 
does the job. Okay, so <laughs> what do we get for $2,000? Well, it's pretty. I'll say that. It's a very pretty watch. Can you, can you see that, Kevin? I'm going to face it down so you can see the face of this watch. It's a very pretty watch. And right now it's telling the time, okay? But this, this watch does a lot more than that. I'm going to try to go through some of these. Kevin, tell me if I have it right. If I press, and it's easy. Now you have to learn these. It takes a bit of time to learn it. Like anything a little more sophisticated, you know? It's like a dial telephone as opposed to a cell phone. Yeah, it takes a bit of time to learn, but it's not hard. Watch. We press it once, and it changes. And we press it again, and it goes to settings. <clears throat> and in this screen, using the buttons, you set your settings, whatever it happens to be. You have to wait for a minute, and we press it again. And there we are, we're diving. And all the information you need about that particular dive is displayed at all time. Now, how much more? You want, first of all, is a, is a compass just showing in there, Kevin? There's a compass. Yeah. Now you can make that compass full screen if you have bad eyes like me, but you don't need to. It's there all the time. Depth, time, all kinds of information is on the screen, whether you want it or not. Now, you can make the settings different. You can change the display. So if you like to have a simple screen with only the few settings that you really, really want, you can do that. Or you can have the thing, all kinds of information on there. Let me show you something else. On the back of this watch, back to the, clock, back to the watch. It's a watch too, by the way. So, computer's not a watch. No, you, this won't tell you the time. <laughs> anyway, this is a watch, quite an attractive watch as well, I might, I might add. It was on your wrist with the right screen, not the dive screen. You know, you're going to the office, or you're going to do some shopping, you're out with the kids at the park. You see, you don't need your dive screen. It's a different screen. So now, what's that? Yeah, radioactive. It checks to make sure that you've not been exposed to too much radiation. No. You've heard of Fitbit? Now, that's a brand name. You've heard of fitness monitors, right? Yes. Heart rate? I don't know if it does blood pressure. I don't think so. But it does all, it, it tracks it. everything that a Fitbit or a normal fitness monitor gauge would do. Sleeping, eat, all that kind of stuff. Running, keeps track of all of it. That's it. So you can take your... Fitbit or whatever brand you have and trade it in and get a computer. And there's other. Now, these are all apps, by the way. I should point out that Kevin has advised me. This is his watch, by the way. He's advised me that this particular watch and, and these added features are apps. The point is that this watch does everything you could possibly want. It will not replace your cellular phone. Not yet. The day will come. But that's what you get for $2,000. And by the way, there's lots of levels in between. You don't jump from 300 to 2,000. There's many, many divers in between. 500, 6, 1,000, 15, and so on. This is kind of the ultimate. It also, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that when I was talking earlier, it also does your, tracks your air. Now, the, the less expensive, the basic dive computers, like this one, they track your depth, your time, and advise you as to the ac actions you need to take to avoid decompression sickness. That's what they do. It's a basic job. These don't do air. They're not air integrated. Is, is the terminology this is so there's a transmitter that is on your scuba tank uh, that monitors the amount of air in your scuba tank and that transmitter sends a signal to this watch and it shows you the amount of air you have it lets you show you how much longer that air will last at, at that current time at your current level of activity so that's a lot of information that's really really neat pretty impressive it is 2021 in the technology age I think divers should be a part of that. If you want to be, if you're able to, have the resources, there you go. Anyway, there you go. 300 or 2,000. Ah, I like, mine's 600 bucks. I like it. No, Kevin? Yeah? No? I can play solitaire on mine, Kevin. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips. Talk to you soon.